most important concept uh, that is your specific speed okay pumps based on your specific speed what is the meaning of specific speed the speed of a geometrically similar pump geometrically similar pump when the delivering of 1 meter cube of water that is q against the head of 1 meter what is the geometrically similar pump means suppose i have one small pump okay small pump one is big pump okay very big pump that may be uh, room size okay this is very small size so this will discharge the water okay and this also discharge water but specific speed of the speed of this both pump may be same or size of may be different but shape okay impellers are using in this same shape okay and working produces the same okay so that is called your geometrically similar means that is a geometric similar pump means irrespective of their q will have identical specific speed okay that is called your geometric similar pump that is the same thing written here the geometric similar pumps means the same shape but size is different okay working process everything is, is same that is called your uh, geometric similar pump having this pumps will give the water 1 meter cube per second deliver the water 1 meter cube per second and for a given head of 1 meter total head of 1 meter so the formula is this one okay and where the ns is specific speed this is represented in two ways one is from a dimension less form another is your dimensional form okay this is okay how it is proven i uh, will discuss in the next slide n is the pump for normal rotation speed so this is nothing but unit impeller speed rotation impeller speed next q is the discharge okay for a best to efficiency okay see this where the discharge you can select the where the maximum uh, efficiency is taking place the, that is your called best to efficiency point where the maximum efficiency okay for we have discussed about the double uh, stage a uh, multi stage and double section suppose here we will take only for the unit okay one meter unit suppose if we have the double suction means water will uh, take from both sides but in this condition we will take only one condition that is your by double suction pump q will take an half double suction pump discharging water suppose 12 liter per second so in this condition suppose six suction a single suction will deliver only six half so that is a 12 by 2 that is six so we will take only half of the actual discharge q by 2 okay otherwise you should take the ns by root so that is, that is the total manometer here that also be taken by the head per stage what is the head suppose we are using single stage then what is your head 6 meters so you substitute 6 meter here for multi stage pump the head is 36 meters okay and uh, you are using the 6 uh, impellers okay so total head is total head is 36 you are using 6 impellers so each impeller or each head how much 36 by 6 Okay, that is your R6 meters. Okay, like that. So now you should divide that uh, head per stage column. For multi stage, head should be taken total head by number of stages. Uh, that is the number of impellers. So, this. So, why you study this impellers? So, this will decide the characteristics curve of your impeller. Okay, performance of your pump. So, based on this performance and speed of this uh, impeller, we classified these pumps slow speed radial flow medium speed radial flow high speed radial flow mixed flow or screw flow and axial flow so if you categorize these three ways uh, radial flow type one uh, mixed flow the type two and axial flow this is the type three so three categories radial mixed and axial so these are the specific uh, speed of the values in a even fps unit fps food pound second fps unit so not in the si units so as i told you the important of specific speed uh, this will give the predict the desired pump that is predicted uh, general shape of the pump in period, as i told you this which type of open or closed semi open uh, axial uh, or mixed or radial all these things for a given head and capacity the specific speed not only decide the optimum geometry or size shape but also decide the characteristic curve of this impeller suppose if you are increasing the pump size automatically the volumetric efficiency also increases 
so that means efficiency increases nothing but your specific speed also be increases these are the most important characteristics so one of the question may be every time expected from this uh, slide okay our entire the specific speed now understand details uh, this is the specific speed of your turbine so the same formula but power is uh, 1 by 2 h power of 5 by 4 now as i told you what is the meaning of axial radial and uh, mixture flow the radial flow pump means the water will uh, come in the straight okay straight to the impeller and it will turn the water due to the impeller in the right angle okay right angle is like this it will go water after that straight so means the water will come like this and turn the water in this make 90 degrees so that is called your radial flow so next one is the axial flow so what is the meaning of axial so water will come to the impeller straight Okay, like this as shown in the picture and due to the impeller this water will go out same direction so that is called your axial so and next one is your mixed flow what is the meaning of mixed flow the water will come okay straight straight like this and it will go diagonally okay like diagonally not exactly like straight or not right angle so this is go diagonally so that is called your mixed flow that is nothing but combination of your radial and axial flow this is called your mixed flow this is so for the radial pumps have used for the low specific speed and uh, discharge is very low head is high specific speed of the pump is this range okay these are in the your rpm revolution per minute rpm if you see this graph these are in fps okay they will not ask the questions but sometimes the values if you see radial specific speed is low and fraxial the specific speed is higher that is up to 300 Okay, in FPS, this is up to the 15,000. Okay, this is up to 500. So that is so medium or mixed flow. That is written here. Uh, and same thing, uh, the as the speed, okay, as the specific speed increases, the ratio of the impeller, okay, diameter of your outer uh, impeller, and to the eye of your diameter. Okay, see. So if you have the impeller, this impeller, center of part your eye. That is your diameter of this. Uh, that is d1 and entire diameter of your impeller that is called your d2 so ratio of this d2 by the d1 for a radial flow this much that is more than 4 and for the mixed flow that is your uh, less than uh, 1.5 for axial flow it is equal to 1 so that is ratio of the i of the impeller and diameter of this impeller that is your d2 ratio of these two for this different type of pump we are given here so same thing i have written here both uh, the normal uh, specific range or specific speed range is for a single suction impeller 500 uh, to 15,000 in FPS unit. The 500 for the your uh, radial and 15,000 for your uh, axial. And in same unit, if you multiply with 50, you get this value. Okay, that is the conversion of your uh, imperial unit to uh, metric unit. That is imperial unit FPS. As I told you, this is six, uh, 300. Uh, same as shown in this picture. Please don't confuse here. So these are the same values and one more thing that see same thing uh, written here uh, summarizing in the table this value so this is the table i have given here in summarizing with respect to the values here please go through once now uh, q should be calculated at point of the best efficiency and h also be calculated at the point of the best efficiency so what is that it mean now for understanding the efficiency curve best efficiency point means the if you see this capacity q and this is the curve head curve so as i told you the head will always uh, decreases for a q should be increases suppose the q is increases head should be dropped so here see the maximum efficiency this in this condition the head is how much the head is maximum okay for a given peak efficiency so this is the discharge in this condition is very low head is higher if you compare same thing see if you draw the straight line uh, for this different types of pumps axial and your mixed and same condition for the your mixed flow the head is see head is in reduces and efficiency is increases and head is low so this is the point you should take this is called your best operating point best operating point here this is called your best operating point okay now similar way axial flow the pump head is low pump head is low efficiency high so means here the q is low head is higher same thing i written 
head is high q is low discharge is low but mixed flow it is a medium range okay discharge is medium head is also medium and for this axial the discharge q is very high and head is low that is the thing okay in this condition the specific uh, speed is higher that means very very important concept this is very very important concept please don't confuse okay for the radial flow discharge is uh, low head is high and specific speed uh, is very low nothing but that 10 here so here for axial flow the maybe some book they written out 10000 so here are assumed to be 15000 or you are simply 300 in the uh, m case unit so here don't confuse please go through once in detail so this is the concept of specific speed now uh, also the specific speed we can enter link with the relax number because the specific speed that is nothing but diameter as i told you okay that is if you speed of this pump it increases then automatic Reynolds number also be increases so this much deep they will not ask but for your safe side please go once okay as a given here the improvement of your efficiency due to increase in the Reynolds number also okay the pump with higher specific speed have bigger size as i told you and hence the mission uh Reynolds number also be increases now next one is your dimension as i told you dimension is form of your specific speed and dimension uh form up your specific speed so that is we know the specific speed is equal to n q uh, 1 by 2 power of and h power of 3 by 4 so if you substitute the units here all the revolution per minute discharge meter cube per second head is meters and you will get the value of this you simplify and dimensionless form of your specific speed so nothing else i added here g i added okay our g should be multiplied with this head and you will get the specific speed uh, in terms of one okay that's why as i told initially only if you see the definition of the specific speed the specific speed is a characteristics number in non-dimensional these are there is no dimensional this is.